Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland Reviewer, and I'm here to review Force of Nature. And this film's been getting a lot of controversy going around with its basic setup of... You have two white cops that are, have gotten in trouble or thrown off the force for doing bad things, and a f son of a Nazi with a bunch of Nazi stuff trying to stop a group of native Puerto Ricans from invading this this apartment building during hurricane and stealing a bunch of stuff. And I'm going to try my best to just take a step back and think about this movie from an action point of view because there's a lot going on with that storyline and it makes it hard for you to really connect with these characters, especially like Emile Hirsch, who's the main character in this, in Michael Polish's film, Force of Nature, I didn't really feel any connection to him. And like, there's loose cannon cops in so many movies, but he's no Dirty Harry. And like, he's no Clint Eastwood. And Emile Hirsch doesn't really bring a whole lot to this role that makes you even care about him at all, or intrigues you at all. And Kate Bosworth is just kind of there as this doctor whose dad's also in this apartment building played by Mel Gibson. And despite a really obnoxious New Yorker accent, not even Mel Gibson in the supporting role that he has in this film, because it is a supporting role, his, Mel Gibson has tons of charisma as an actor, and he even feels... Like, he can't do much with the horrible dialogue that they give him. Especially, like, right off the bat is this really obnoxious, on-the-point line about how the cops have lost it, they don't really care anymore, they're too worried about paperwork, and blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, this is the kind of movie that we have. And the antagonists are just stereotypes that you really don't get any connection to or care and you know in a good action movie, it's like you want to like at least be interested by the villain or have them have some kind of interesting plot or some charisma and just they don't really do anything to flesh them out. And like it's an hour and 30 minutes. The action's pretty choppy in terms of its editing and I didn't really get much out of it. It zips by, I have to say that, like, this film doesn't feel like it drags at all. It has a decent amount of energy going for it. And, honestly, a lot of that energy comes from Mel Gibson on screen when the scenes that he, he's in, because you could definitely feel it drop off when he's not there. And, like, all these characters are just so oddly thrown together and don't have a whole lot of depth. Like, this film really felt like a misfire. And, like, I really wouldn't recommend this film. I didn't really get a whole lot of enjoyment out of it. And from somebody who really enjoys Mel Gibson as an actor, on screen it's just like, he's not even enough to give this a little shot in the arm. And, like, you have a film like Get the Gringo, where he carries that movie with his energy and, like, yeah, there's some oddly problematic setups in that film as well and but like that works as a fun little action movie that like they sold it for like three dollars at Best Buy because so many people weren't buying that movie or interested in seeing it because of timing but like this film just feels like a waste and quite insensitive and in general I'm like this is a hard pass and I almost didn't even rent this because I'm like, I saw so many reviews about it, but I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do it. And yeah, it's not really worth your time. Even from just in a vacuum, this film doesn't really offer a whole lot in terms of an action thriller or acting or really anything in terms of dialogue or characters. It's just kind of a hodgepodge. Like this felt like it was written in like a day and just thrown together like, let's go for it. So I'm going to say pass on Force of Nature. But those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.